Welcome everyone. Welcome Christina and Jackie. Thank you. Uh, Christina is of Greek background, having migrated from Greece at a young age, 20 years of age. Yeah. And Jackie is of Swiss background, but born in Australia. You were neighbours when you were growing up, Jackie. That's right. right here. Yeah. Yeah. And Jackie, what are your fondest memories of having yeah. great neighbours? Well, I remember my father and Christine's husband, Bill, hanging out together in the garage and fixing things. Yeah. Drinking beer. Yeah. And Christina would come across and give them some food. Yeah. Because yeah. they wouldn't eat. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. just keep drinking. And then the food ended up inside our house, which we enjoyed so much. And then Christina would invite my family for Easter celebrations, yeah. which were wonderful and there yeah. was so much delicious food. Yeah. And for her husband's name's day on the 1st of January, yeah. Bill, is that right? Mm -hmm. 1st yes. of January, yeah. we would have a, a party again. Party. Yeah, yeah. So the friendship formed that way. And some days I would just go over to Christina's yeah. and just sit there and watch her cook. Then I'd just go over there every morning before she went off yeah. to work. Mm, she yeah. did late night shifts, yeah. didn't you? You'd yeah. start work at yeah. 2 I, I, and you'd work till 11. And I finished 2 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, and I'd go and sit and watch her cook. Early, yeah. Christina, um, what is it about Jackie's family that made you connect with them? Met die mama zo van ons gaan niet te zeggen dat hij een piatto van je toe of dat niet gaat kapen. Ik ben er wel happy. Ik heb net een jaar zo jong. Iets is dat fiet hem ook vast lenen. Met dat door dat is hij nou. En hij met wie wil je je vader en mijn huisman drinken bier uit de frank de garage. Hij trekt een fly like that en voet zijn voet. And he have me there, me yeah. there, you know, uh, and enjoy together. Okay. Yeah. Lucky them. Yeah. Lucky them. Yeah. They got to have fun, hang yeah. out with their best mate, yeah. and get fed and all nice. that. Nice. Your husband, and your, your father is very, very good man. He so. loved your chips. Yeah. Christina makes the best chips. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. The we'll best. We'll do chips today, but we'll do them another day. All right. <laughs> let's hold that thought. Beautiful. So yeah. today the recipe that we are sharing is in fact a vegetarian moussaka. moussaka. And moussaka traditionally is uh, it's a layered dish made with uh, fried vegetables, a, a meat sauce and a bechamel sauce. But today in place of the meat sauce we're actually going to make a sauce from vegetables. Mm. Christina is a very creative cook, you're a very creative person in fact. Um, and she actually adapts recipes and modifies them and creates her own and this is, this is a winner, this is a true winner. Let's get started. What do we do first? Uh, uh, first of all, I have to start with the egg flan. Okay, this many times. Put that in the pan. This many times, this one must be the one that you want to grill. Okay, so let's go. Can we start? Yeah. All right. So we're just going to get started with our eggplants, and Christina is going to prepare them. So what we're doing is we're just. Chopping the Chop it into and big chunks to, to the water. And then we're just going to pop them in the water. If you want to, you don't actually yeah. have to peel them. Yeah, you don't need them, not necessarily. But if you're trying to disguise your vegetables so that your children eat them, yeah. then you can peel your eggplant. Okay, so cutting the other one into chunks. And we've got about a kilo of eggplants. Uh, we've got some pretty large quantities of vegetables today because we're making a large quantity of moussaka. This is quite a labour intensive dish, so if you're going to make it, make it worthwhile. Make a large batch, feed the family, feed the neighbours, you know, have a party. Now I have to put the onions. Okay. Can you start from here? Yep, let's do it. Okay, so we are going to be... Rio and garlic. And some garlic. We're going to be processing our All vegetables today. Yep, put in six, six cloves. So if you don't have a food processor, you'll just have to do a lot of fine chopping, which may take quite some time. So we're actually just going to process the onions and parsley and the mint. We've got three onions and we've got one small bunch of parsley and one small bunch of mint. We're just going to pulse the processor. All right, so we have about a kilo of mushrooms and half of them we're going to process and the other half we're going to slice. Okay. 
Christina, why did you adapt the moussaka recipe and make it into a vegetarian recipe? Mm -hmm. So I, I cook it and I like it to make it ever. And I say, I'm going to give it to Jack, which is a vegetable. I'm going to give it to Beautiful. So Jackie yeah. and Shimon are both vegetarians. Shimon is Jackie's husband. Yeah. And Christina, like all Greeks, likes to show her love by cooking for those that she loves. And uh, you make this beautiful vegetarian moussaka for yeah. Jackie and Shimon. And Shimon. Yeah. Yeah. And Shimon. Oh, my husband loves this moussaka. <laughs> As vegetarians, sometimes you leave the table hungry. Yeah. But this moussaka, you leave the table and you feel really satisfied. So now, we're taking our eggplants and we're just um, processing those two. Amazing vegetable combination that takes the place of the meat sauce that is traditionally used in the moussaka. It's just so beautiful. So just a little bit of pulsing. Make sure that you don't um, over process the vegetables otherwise they'll turn into absolute mush and that is not the texture we're looking for. We actually want that that sauce to have a bit of body to it. Uh, the mushrooms, we'll just transfer them into there. Okay, okay. yeah. All right, let's go. And then the last thing that we need to prepare is the tomatoes. And these are really ripe tomatoes. It's really important to use ripe tomatoes. And we've got about 1.2 kilos of them. Mm. And we're just going to puree them. We're going to go and take these to the cooktop and cook them up. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Place the pot on high heat and add one cup of extra virgin olive oil, two and a half teaspoons salt, one and a half teaspoons pepper, and one and a half soup spoons oregano. Mix through all the ingredients and cook them until they reduce and brown a little. Add the pureed tomato and stir this through. Bring the ingredients to a gentle boil and then reduce them to a simmer. Continue simmering until all the water in the pot has cooked off. While the vegetables are simmering, use this time to prepare your other vegetables for frying and layering. Okay, we've got our beautiful vegetable filling simmering on the cooktop and reducing. And now we're going to prepare our vegetables, the ones that we slice, we fry and we layer through the moussaka. What do we do first, Christina? Uh, I think First, we have to make a with the jana. Okay. We put it in the water to make it Okay. So we put it in the water and it's ready and it's ready to make it jana. Because we put it in one side of the jana, one side of the kifi, and one side of the potato. So let's start. Let's take the eggplants and prepare them. So how how thick are those? Very very thin. Very thin. You see? Okay. So these are about the same thickness? Yes. This is a really big recipe. Do you, when you cook this, Christina, do you cook it all by yourself? Yes. Cool. All by yourself. <laughs> when you get really good at making this recipe, you can be frying and making the sauce at the same time and saving a lot of time. So now we're just getting the um, eggplants and we're just drying them off. We're going to take all these wonderful sliced vegetables across to the cooktop and we're going to fry them up. And then once they're ready, then we do a bit of layering. Awesome. We have a little bit of work to do. We have a lot of frying, so let's Locked go. Down now. Let's go. Ooh. Place your fry pans on a medium to high heat and add half to one centimeter of extra virgin olive oil. Add the vegetable slices and lightly brown them on one side before turning them over to brown the other side. The vegetable slices do not need to cook all the way through. Once browned on both sides, remove the slices from the pan and place them on absorbent paper to drain. Don't forget to keep an eye on your simmering vegetable sauce and stir it through occasionally. The vegetable slices will absorb oil as they fry, so add extra oil to the fry pans as needed. We have prepared our filling for the moussaka. Looks just like meat. It sure does. But Mono lahanaka. Mono lahanaka. Bravo, Jackie. Jackie is studying Greek as well. She's no a year five. No meat. <coughs> no lack of the meat. Okay. Horis kreas. Horis kreas. Bravo. 
Uh, we've also fried up all of our vegetables and now we're ready to assemble. Christina, what do we do? You start. You put eggs on the vajish melchana frota, kolokiti, whatever you like it. Okay. So we basically can start with any of these That's vegetables, better. but we're just going to lay one type of vegetable yeah. on the bottom layer. One line potato, one line potato, after one line shikili. So we put a line of potatoes, mm -hmm. we then put, uh, we spoon out some of the filling. Yeah. And then on top of the filling, we sprinkle some cheese. Uh, the cheese and a little bit of salt. So we're just going to um, add a little bit of salt to the dish because we haven't actually salted the vegetables in the yeah. frying process. Um, but we are adding the cheese so that will actually bring in a little bit of extra salt. And the cheese that we're using is Gefalo Gabriela, uh, which you can get at any Greek deli. But if you don't have access to a Greek deli, then you can get... If you don't have a Gefalo Gabriela, you can get tasty cheese. Tasty cheese. So you can even supplement yeah. or replace some tasty cheese. I think our first layer is almost done. Yeah. First of all, to put a little bit uh, Frota and you go the uh, alataki. Okay, so we sprinkle the uh, potatoes with a little bit of salt. Okay. And some cheese. And some cheese. Looking good, looking good. Now, now, okay. and now you put the sauce. So delicious. You can try a pastelino for spathumi, and pay ciola, like a pano. Laxi. No meaning a sage holy sauce. Okay, so you want a very even homogeneous layer of this filling uh, covering this layer. Now ready to put the lamb. Another layer. layer. Okay. Another potato again. What put are we going to do? The zucchini or egg? Alright. The zucchini and the eggplant is a little bit fiddly because in cooking down they uh, become quite soft and they might break apart but that's okay. You won't notice. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Like a tapestry. It is. So, a bit of salt. Again, another salt. Yep, not much. So basically, there's three layers in each section. Yeah. And you can make this with two sections, or three sections, or four sections. You need at least two, and it looks better when you do four. Yeah. So, when you cut your slice out, it's nice and thick. And, yeah. And it looks rich and appetizing. Then you also awesome, uh, All right, we're just gonna put one last layer of the filling on top, and then we need to make the bechamel sauce. So we're just gonna leave our tray of uh, moussaka here, and we're heading back to the cooktop to make the bechamel sauce. Place a pot on medium heat and add one and a half liters of full fat milk, four eggs, 50 grams of butter, and one and a half teaspoons salt. Once the butter has melted, add 185 grams of sifted self-raising flour immediately. Stir the mixture continuously until it thickens. Add 300 grams of grated Gefalo Gabriela cheese and stir it through until it melts. Pour and spread the bechamel sauce on top of the moussaka. The moussaka is now ready to put in the oven. Bake it at 170 degrees centigrade for about an hour. Keep an eye on it as it bakes, and if any areas start to brown, cover them with a bit of foil in order to allow the entire top of the moussaka to brown evenly. The moussaka has been cooling for about half an hour. Ideally, you should let it cool for about 45 minutes to an hour. That way it firms up just enough so the pieces come out and they're a nice, presentable shape. Um, but we're getting a little bit impatient. Christina, would you serve us some moussaka? Yes, why not? Why, why not? not? Okay. We can't wait to eat. Yeah, we can't <laughs> wait to eat. <laughs> we can't wait to eat. Okay. I've got square. Okay. So we're just scoring the top of the yeah. moussaka with a knife. We're not cutting all the way this, through. This is very, very good for yeah. savings. So we have a very nice non-stick pan here that we don't want to damage. Thanks. Like that, like that. Like, like this. That. Yeah. And like that. And really the first piece, yeah. it's always very hard to get the yeah. first piece out mm -hmm. in a clean way. Yeah. But we will give it a whirl. Okay, okay, okay. And I can tell you that the, the flavour won't change. Just maybe the appearance a bit. 
Oh boy. Eat food. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right. I Finish certainly, off. I certainly won't be hungry after I eat this. Okay. Okay, it's not bad. Not Ooh. really fair fit, but... Mm. Can I call my Jackie? What do you think, Jackie? Wow, it's amazing. Christina, mm. it's a uh, calitari. Oh, yeah. thank you. Que homos acaso, you know, calitaros. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you very thank you much. much. Thank you so much for sharing this with us today. That's okay. And thank you so much, Jackie, for oh. initiating this and um, suggesting we actually capture Christina's beautiful recipe. Thank, thank you, you Jackie, much. for the fresh top for you. We're very happy. We are in our history. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. We had a beautiful time. Yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. We ran the marathon, we made the musaka, but we had a really good time doing it. Mm. Uh, we wish you all Kalipi here best success in making this recipe. Please let us know how you go by leaving feedback on our website, kali-orixi.com.au. Kali Orixi, Kiyasas. <laughs>